Vitil Sridharan is filling up his motorbike with fuel, but instead of petrol, it's a liquid fuel that he's made himself out of old plastic. He claims that using a simple technology based on pyrolysis, he can convert plastic into cheap liquid fuel. In the presence of the catalyst, the heated plastics get liquefied and on further heating, it turns into a gaseous form. When it is condensed, the molecules that have become liquid get liquefied and the lesser molecules retain the gaseous form. The liquefied material is somewhat like crude oil and through fractional distillation, petrol can be extracted. The scale of what Sritharan is experimenting with may be small, but the potential is huge. Plastic waste is a major health and environmental problem in India. The scientist also claims that the fuel produced from plastic trash is non-polluting. And his customers say they can't note the difference between what Sritharan sells and what they get at the gas station. I don't experience any difference at all. This is also just like the petrol we are accustomed to using. At first I had certain doubts, so I asked one of my friends for a trial. He tried and found it good. Now I'm also using this occasionally. No problem, it's as good as the petrol we use. We get the same mileage too, no smoke or anything like that. While the results are promising, the process of distilling fuel from plastic waste is not without challenges. The problem is, if you cannot maintain a constant temperature, the output will be negative. When it comes to the issue of purity, Plastic is the basic raw material. PVC cannot be used. If there is impurity, it affects the performance as a whole. The machinery would also get affected. However, this form of fuel only works on diesel engines and not petrol ones. But that does not worry Sritharan. He's optimistic about his project and believes that if implemented on a larger scale, it would be cost effective. As per the project I have developed, I need just 10 rupees for producing one litre of fuel. The major portion of this goes towards organising expense. Raw materials have been gathered, then pulverised, for which electric power is needed. Even just then, 10 rupees are needed for producing one litre of petrol. This is the attraction or the advantage of this project. With an increasing focus on alternative fuel and the need to recycle plastic waste, if found to be viable, Switharan's idea could be a potential game changer. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.